Your body is banging, baby. I love the way you're flowing. It's time to give it to daddy. Sugar, now tell me how you want it. How we all doing? It's Jared Taker from ECP, EC City Productions. Know I'm going to get a lot of hate probably from a lot of the females after this video. But, you know me. Um, I kind of just drop videos for myself and my people. So the people that actually support me, they're going to support me either way. Um, and for myself, obviously I, I do videos for myself, um, you know, obviously for mental health, for, um, experiences, basically to go back and look at experiences, to remember things and to, to have a good time and stuff like that. But this one's a little bit of a important topic that really affects me on a day to day basis. So I definitely wanted to bring this up, but it's basically women's high standards nowadays and how it affects good men, I should say, how it affects good men. And what I mean by good men is, you know, men who are like faithful when they think it's, you know, obviously faithful when it's important to be in faithful and whatnot. Um, guys who, you know, care about women and women's rights and care about, you know, being loved and loving. And uh, guys, guys, guys gen who are genuine, caring, respectful, honest type of type of guys, you know what I'm saying? So maybe not your average dude, but dudes like myself. Um, you know, I, I, I feel that I'm genuine and honest and, you know, kind, caring person. So for guys that are like myself, um, especially lately, I don't know. I felt like, I feel like when it comes to women and whatnot, I am not, I would say I'm not the best kind of guy when it comes to, you know, giving a girl everything she needs and stuff like that. I'm probably not the best. So, you know, there's definitely better options, I would say, than myself. So, with that being said, we're going to do a reaction on this video that kind of talks about the high standards of women and whatnot nowadays, and then a different reaction to it, and kind of like a hard dose of reality, you could say, something like that. But uh, let's go. Let's get it. I just think it's funny how the tables have turned. It used to be men with such high standards of what they wanted in a woman. But plot twist, these women are demanding more. No longer accepting the bare minimum. No longer accepting bottom of the barrel shit. We have standards now and these men are hurt by it. And based off of that, I kind of get a feeling of like, that is how a lot of women feel towards men. You know what I'm saying? Um... They, they feel like they need a lot, like the man has to provide a lot and it's hard to keep up with. I'm going to be honest. It's hard to keep up with everything that a lot of women look for or want men to provide. And I'm not saying that men shouldn't be a provider, but I think that it should be a little more equal in my opinion, that the man and the woman should both be bringing stuff to the table and come together to help each other do whatever it is they want to do. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be, you know, join forces to, you know, have more financial stability, um, join forces to help each other emotionally, join forces to, you know, love and care about each other, join forces to create and adventure and explore and do whatever it is they want to do, whether that's what they want to do or not. You know what I'm saying? And kind of, you know, just join forces rather than the guy running the show, carrying and providing and doing everything, you know what I'm saying? And then the women get to, you know, basically, um, basically what's, what's the word I'm looking for or what's the, what am I looking to say? Kind of get to experience the man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel like you guys should, like, a man and a woman should experience each other, should grow together, build off each other, and live happily. You know what I'm saying? But let's get on to the next opinion. All right, it's time for Roma's daily dose of reality. Here's the hard dose of reality, okay? You have manipulated yourself into thinking that what you have for men is high standards, but you don't. What you have is a high level of greed, codependency issues, and you've turned dating into a hustle, into a scam, a way to just get free shit, your nails paid for, your eyelashes paid for, your food paid for, your bills paid for. 
I've grown up around men my entire life, all right? And I have not heard one of them say, you know what, I think I need a woman that makes at least six figures. Yeah, she's driving a Toyota, what a loser. She can't pay for my gas and my oil changes? <laughs> she really thinks that she's wifey material? So many women walk around thinking they know exactly what men want, but at the end of the day, you have no idea because you haven't even stopped to ask them. But I did. I did a poll where 8,500 people answered and I said, in what order do you value these three things in your romantic relationships? The biggest percent, 75%, sex was last and spending quality time together was first. So for me, when it comes to that, um, in what order do you value these three things? Um, sex or any form of intimacy, emotional connection, opening up to each other, having her by your safe place to share emotions with and spending quality time together, relaxing, going out, cuddling, etc. The most important thing, in my opinion, is the same as what most of the other guys said. I would say spending quality time together is definitely number one. Emotional connection being number two and sex being number three. Um, also, nowadays, um, or at least in the situation I'm in right now, I feel that I can't even go up and ask a girl if she wants to go out on a date with me. The reason why I have to say that is because I feel like I'm not in a good enough financial spot. I feel like I'm not in a good enough spot, even looks wise. And in general, based off of what I've been through and who I've dated and this and that and et cetera, and I've, I've, I've been, you know, I've dated a handful of times. So, you know, I definitely, you know, been with uh, different types of girls and whatnot. And, um, almost every single time I was never good enough. So with me never being good enough, um, I was always left or cheated on and, um, yeah, so it kind of makes me feel now that I can't go up to a girl until I got everything, everything in line and everything together and that, um, that I need to basically be as close as possible to perfect in order to please the women nowadays in this generation. So you know, when it comes to how a lot of women feel is like a lot of women feel like they need to have that. I noticed at least based off of what I've seen and what I've experienced, they need to have a man that's wealthy. They need to have a man that's loyal. They need to have a man that's, you know, confident. They need to have a man that's, um, a little distant. And the reason why I say a little distant is because they don't like a man, you know, fully, fully invested. They like, they, they usually like a man that's like on the edge, on the edge between invested and not invested. Why? I don't know. Maybe it's because it's just playing hard to get or whatever. And they kind of like that. They like the chase. Um, but for the men that don't do that and actually invest, fully invest, I feel bad for it because they can't really, they can't really, you know, seem to hold down, you know, a relationship because, um, the girl wants something more, something bigger, something better. And not all men can provide, you know, the world as much as they want to, you know what I'm saying? And, um, someone like myself would love to slowly give the world to a female, but you can't do it all at once. And a lot of women walk away before they're given the world. And it's, it's rough. It really is rough. But, uh, continues here what this says you guys walk around like your it doesn't stink and you have such a high standard for men but at the end of the day you don't you have a high level of insecurity of immaturity of codependency you've made dating into this dehumanizing game where you can pick apart where a man takes you on a date because that somehow is indicative of how well he's gonna treat you you think that men are upset because women want better no they're not they're upset because you treat them like walking dicks and piggy banks. And as soon as somebody comes around that can provide more, whoop, you're gone. I do feel like they definitely treat you <laughs> like that. And I would say when it comes to me, when I, when I'm, when I care about somebody and I'm in a relationship, I'm devoted. I'm faithful or loyal. I, you know, care about and listen to and you know really put them almost first 
and I, you know, I, I like, I like to be kind and caring. I, you know, I like to go on adventures. I like to explore. I love to share experiences with each other. I love to grow and build together. I like to, you know, basically achieve each other's goals and help each other, you know, accomplish what they want, what you want to accomplish. You know what I'm saying? If I want to accomplish something, I hope, you know, my significant other is going to help me accomplish my goals and vice versa. I want to help accomplish their goals. And I want to, I want to basically experience a lot together and do a lot of things and explore. And, uh, you know, I want to build our bag together and I want to, you know, grow financially, whatnot, you know, and I want to experience emotion together and, you know, a connection and, and all that, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you don't really get to experience that nowadays because at least for me, I just was left before I can even experience a lot of that stuff. And if I did experience that with, with some girls, um, it didn't last long until they found somebody better. And that's where it's hard for me now to really find or even find the courage to go up to a girl and ask her if she wants to even go out. Because I feel like, especially right now with me not driving, I feel like I'm not good enough. You know what I'm saying? Girls only want guys usually with cars to drive them places, pick them up. I want to drive soon, but I'm just not driving yet. So I feel like I can't. I can't even ask a girl. I feel like in the looks department, I've been told multiple times um, I'm up to a seven. I've never been told I was higher than that. Um, you know, one to ten, you know, or zero to ten, I should say. I've said seven. You know, I've heard some four. I've heard some five. You know, so I would I would probably say you know I'm probably closer to like the six area. Um, you know, obviously as humbly as possible. Um, but that's what I was told by many different types of girls and stuff like that. And so I feel like I'm not good enough looking. I feel like I'm not financially stable enough. I feel like without me driving, I'm not good enough. And um, it's really hard for me to ask a girl out. But yeah, and I, I feel like they only look for whoever's, you know, got the biggest you-know-what and whoever's got the most cash. And um, it's most financially stable. And that's basically what they look for. Or if, if they don't find those two, or if they find somebody better, they usually go off to somebody better. And that, that's just how I feel. And um, based off of my experiences and basically what I've seen with other relationships that other people have been in and whatnot. And um, just girls nowadays in society, I should say. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's rough. Having a high standard for men is saying, I'm not going to be talked to in a certain way. I'm not going to be unheard. I'm not going to be disrespected. I'm not going to be cheated on. A high standard is not, he has to drive a Tesla, pay for my nails, pay for my gas, pay for my lashes. All of these are a product of the beauty industry and other women telling us that we're not good enough. And then we turn around, victimize ourselves and blame men for it when they couldn't give a less. Men are not upset because women's standards have been risen. They're upset because you guys have dehumanized them so low and put yourself on such high of a high horse that you have convinced them that they are nothing and not even real men if they can't fit and reach your impossibly high standard. Ladies like that don't know their own worth, they don't value themselves, and they're gonna end up with the Andrew Tates of the world. Sure, he'll be able to pay for all your stuff, but He'll also have more respect for his baby toe than you. And final words. I just feel like that a lot of women should respect a man that tries more. R respect somebody who actually wants something genuinely. Like they want to actually build a connection. They want to get to know you. They want to you know, build and grow with you. They want to experience life together and not just looking for somebody who basically wants to treat you like garbage, uh, will leave you for somebody better or um, just pay for everything and expect that to be the only thing that matters. Um, I'm not saying like I'm not going to pay for anything for a girl. You know what I'm saying? You know, I've, I've invested quite a bit in, in past relationships and whatnot. And, um, 
you know, whether it be time, money, you know, gifts, uh, dates, you know, obviously I think that's important, but it should not be the only thing that is looked for in a relationship. It should not be the only thing that is important because I think someone who actually cares about you, somebody who's actually going to be there through thick and thin, somebody who's actually going to experience life together with you, somebody who's going to want to grow, build, and live with you, you know what I'm saying, for not just um, a year, not just two years, not just, you know, a decade, for as long as they possibly can, you know what I'm saying, through thick and thin, through everything, you know what I'm saying, through the hard times, through the good times, through all of it, but I don't know, I just, I feel like nowadays there's just really bad generation when it comes to dating and when it comes to relationships and whatnot, and um, almost feels hopeless, it really does, and that's kind of my final words, but yeah, it's Jer Taker from ECP, EC City Productions. Activate your hips and push your ass out Got a brother rolling it so bad I'm about to pass out Wanna dig you? And I can't even lie about it Baby, just alleviate your clothes I'm the fly about it Catch you at the club Your hips have got me feeling Body talking quick to me But I can't comprehend the meaning No, if you want